Dookies and Dealer here, and I'm back with the most exciting video that I've done in like forever. This is an interactive game that you can play with your Twitch chat at any point, really. This can happen throughout the stream. This is Pokemon, and this is by the one and only Waldo and Friends, made just for stream up. So as you can see, a wild Pokemon will appear, and you can use channel points to catch it. So I'm gonna activate a channel point right now. It's gonna throw a Pokeball in. Are we gonna catch it? Are we gonna have we're gonna ah oh, man D typical stuff the gold don't go away what a sad time i don't know i'm gonna sit here and wait until i catch it i'm gonna throw another pokeball here we go come on come on just catch it for the video man for the video come on ah oh, what is the point of this game what are the point is the game what is the point of the game we'll catch again come on come on come on come on There we go. And in Twitch chat, we basically keep track of which Pokemon each individual user has got. It's a fun way to interact with your audience. So I'm going to show you how to install it. And did I mention it's completely free? Put your rock over the stone. Let's get into it. So to get this up and running, yes, you guys know it. There are a couple of things that we're going to have to make sure we get installed. Most importantly, obviously, you need OBS. And you're going to need a couple of plugins for OBS. You'll need the WebSocket plugin, which is just here. All the links will be in the description down below. Just press download and install that. It's pretty easy to install. Just next, next, next uh, on the installers. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You'll also need the Move Transition uh, by Exceldro. Just hit download, get that all installed like you normally would. If you've been using my videos in the past, you probably have both of these installed already, so you probably don't need to worry about it. You'll also need to make sure you've got Leoran Board. So if you don't know what Leoran Board is, it's an amazing, powerful application that pretty much Stream Up is based around at the moment. It just, it's... It's free, and it's the best darn deck out there. Free is always the best, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. And we'll also need some extensions for the um, the Leoran board as well. So we're going to need LB Web Requests, which you can see just on this GitHub page. All the links are in the attached PDF and in the description down below, so don't worry about it if you miss anything. Uh, we just press the releases on the, the right-hand side just there, and you'll see this web.request.lbe. Just click on that. And that'll start downloading it. It's a super small file, 9 kilobytes. So, yeah, it'd take a second to download. And that's um, next. We need to jump into Discord, sorry, and download two more extensions. The first one is Mystery Heroes um, Channel Point API. As you can see just here, this is what we need there. And uh, just press download on that, and I'll show you how to get that installed as well. And you'll also need one more. All the extensions are in this Discord, so make sure you are joined. You'll also need the timer extension that Christina has made as well. So the download link is just the Dropbox link just there. Just get all that downloaded. Again, all the links are in the PDF, so don't worry about missing anything. Once that's all done, we can open up Leoran Board. And we need to just get everything installed, basically. So we're going to start off by installing all the extensions that I spoke about. So we'll click on Install Extension, select Extension File, and navigate to where you've saved them. So Web Request, we just double click on that. That's it. Press OK. Select a transmitter. So mine's in Leoran Board, then TSL Transmitter. And it'll ask you to replace. Just say, yeah, that's cool. Mine says it's already installed. Yours might as well, because this is an updated version. You need to make sure you get this recent one. Otherwise, it will not work with a Pokemon API. So just press yes on that uh, as so. Then we can you can remove that deck if you don't want it. That's up to you. We just I'm going to remove it because I don't need it. I'm going to press install extension again. Press OK. And we're going to navigate to the timer extension. Do that. Select a transmitter. We're going to do TSL transmitter again. Yeah, press yes. It's going to say if it's installed, you're, you're updating it, whatever. That's fine with me. I'm going to remove the, the deck that it makes because I don't need it. I'm going to press install extension once again and install the final one, which is the channel point extension, which you downloaded. We're going to open that up and it's going to ask to select the TSL transmitter. We're going to say yes. We're going to replace it. That's fine. If we want to replace it, that's cool. And it's going to load that in just there. So you might have an issue with this one because you need to basically tell Twitch to allow Leoran Board to access the Channel Point API. So to do that, the best way that I've found is uh, before installing it, go to your Leoran Board folder um, on your computer and then you can go into the receiver. 
And once in the receiver, you'll have all your config files and everything like that. But you'll have one file called connect.ini. So just literally right click that and delete it. That has got all your and authorization codes and everything like that for Leoran board to, to talk to Twitch. Just delete that. Close Leoran board and reopen it. And it will ask you to kind of link your Twitch from default. And as you can see, just make sure you have all the correct kind of uh, tick boxes just here. So that's like, um, where is it? Oh, I've lost where it is. I've lost where it is. It's somewhere in here. Why can't I read? Oh, I can't read. But basically, it's there. There we go. Manage channel points. Make sure manage channel points is ticked. I don't know why I can't see today. Uh, and uh, get that all linked up. You've probably already used Leon Bud, so you know how to link that anyway. One last thing before we do get it all installed, that if you want the exact Pokemon font that you saw at the beginning, you can get it from this GitHub page just here. Again, all the links are down below. Just uh, select which one you probably need. It's probably the TTF. Just click on it, and then you'll be able to press the download button on the right-hand side just there to download that. Get that installed, and you'll have the exact same font. So once that's all done, we're ready to get it installed. We're going to head to our Downloads folder and look for the Pokemon and friends that we downloaded. And we're just gonna unzip it. So extract it all, that's fine. Take a couple of seconds. And we've got a PDF in there, which you can see it's got all the instructions in there in case you're not following the video, or you just want easy access to all the links and stuff like that. You can click on them and it will go straight through to it. So once we've done that, we can copy this folder just here, this Pokemon and friends uh, by Waldo and friends. Uh, we just copy this. I'm going to do that, cut it, and I'm going to take it to my Leoran board folder in Leoran board receiver, and then EXT, and we're just going to paste it directly into there. So paste it, and you'll see it just here. And we're all ready to go now. We can open up Leoran board, and I'm going to open up OBS as well. Make sure we're connected to OBS, make sure your Twitch is all linked, everything like that. Press install extension once again, press OK, and we're going to navigate to the Leoran board folder, Leoran board receiver, EXT, and then we're going to go into the Pokemon and Friends by Waldo and Friends. That's that's a mouthful, Waldo. What were you thinking, man? Uh, and then we're going to double click on the Pokemon and Friends, Waldo and Friends LBE file. Double click on that. It's going to look a little bit glitchy. It might take a second to load, but that's loading in the full deck of Pokemon and Friends. And if you jump into OBS and look in the bottom left, you'll see, well, wherever your scene collections are, you'll, uh, you'll see the scene Waldo and Friends Pokemon has arrived there. It won't look like there's anything on there, but if I press these little eyes, you'll be able to see we've got all the sound waves. You won't be able to hear that now on the video, but you can see that it is there. So you might want to turn these up and down depending on how loud you want them to be on your stream. So fiddle about with all the audio's settings just like that to, to just get the right kind of feel for your, for your stream. So once you've done all that, we'll, we're going to have to jump to your Twitch channel. So if you go into Chrome or your browser, and we're going to go to your stream dashboard. And then on the left hand side, go down to viewer rewards and press channel points just there. And we're going to have to update the rewards and challenges section. Because we should see it's created a channel point automatically for us called Catch Pokemon. If it hasn't, just make sure you have connected your Twitch um, account in Leoran board to, to manage your uh, reward IDs. Then delete the LBE file. So basically, uh, jump into your deck just here and press remove deck on the Pokemon and friends. And then also go into your settings the Leoran board folder, Leoran board receiver, and you should see a file called Pokemon underscore settings. You can just delete that as well, just to, just as a, a safety precaution, basically. And then just run through that installation process, install extension, and press Pokemon and friends, and it should create the channel point redeemable. Once that is actually created, we need to do a cheeky little thing and add a cooldown. So we're going to press edit. And jump down to the bottom, you'll see cooldowns and limits just there. We can tick that on. And it's recommended that you just change that to one minute. Uh, just just to stop people throwing two Pokeballs at once and kind of causing any glitches in the, the game. So just change that to one minute just there. You can also change the cost of how much you want it to be as well. Uh, and change the, the images, the background color, do whatever you want. That's completely customizable. Just don't change the name. Or the description or anything like that. Just change the uh, the cooldown time and the images and stuff. So you just press save once you're happy with all that. And that's good to go. You don't need to enable it. Because it's going to do it automatically when the, a Pokemon appears. 
So jumping back into OBS, we, we, doesn't look like there's a lot going on just here, but it is actually running because there it's uh, the the game's basically automatic. Uh, every seven and a half minutes, there's a third of a chance a Pokemon will spawn, uh, and then w we can actually trigger a spawn uh, normally by doing it manually. Sorry, pressing typing in exclamation mark and then typing in Pokey Start, and this will start straight away a pokemon will appear so as you can see a wild meowth has appeared and you can see him in the bottom right just there and now when i go to the channel points you should see there's a new channel point saying catch pokemon if i throw the pokeball press redeem it will throw that pokeball will attempt to catch the meowth there will be some ch yes we got him why couldn't i do that right at the beginning of the film uh, i don't know and as you can see it says congrats andy you've caught the meowth you've got two out of 151 pokemon so we've got a couple of other commands that we can do as well, which is quite handy. We can type in exclamation mark, uh, Pokedex, and then ooh, Pokedex, and type in Meowth. And we can actually check our Meowth on here. So uh, Andy has captured a Meowth before. Uh, it'll say if you haven't, and it'll say a little, uh, little bit about Meowth as well, which is pretty cool. So now if I type in uh, Poke Start to get another Pokemon manually, uh, like I say, this will automatically happen as... Oh, Mewtwo, let's go! Uh, if I type in now, exclamation mark, Pokedex, we can actually get some information about this Pokemon as well to see if we've caught it as well. Um, and did not uh, caught a Mewtwo yet. We've got a bit of a typo there. Uh, Waldo, we'll get him to fix that. And we get some information about the Mewtwo there as well. Again, we can press catch like that. Try and catch the Pokemon. I'm definitely not going to catch this because the catch rate for this is ridiculous. Yep, didn't think so. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know to get it to work. If if for any reason it bugs out or anything like that, you can type in exclamation mark pokey end and that will reset it as well. And if for any reason that it's not initialized when Leoran board started, which it should do automatically, you can type in exclamation mark pokey in it like that. And uh, now the timer's on. You won't see a Pokemon appear, but the timer is definitely running now in the background. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I know there's a, kind of a lot of things there that we, we went through, but I just wanted to make sure you do get all the things installed correctly. And it, as long as you've got everything up to date, like your WebSocket, OBS, everything like that, Leoran board, make sure your Leoran board and your extensions are up to date as well. And then everything will work plain sailing. And it's just such a fun way for your stream to interact. And the fact that it's free. I mean, if you want to support me and also stream up, then definitely consider it's all donation wear basically so if you want to help us out try and make more of these things in future and keep it free for you guys then please consider helping us out as well but that's pretty much all there is for this video uh, let me know what you think in the comments below or if this has inspired you to create something yourself please let us know we'd love to share it on stream up join the discord talk to us let, let's talk about it all right guys so put your rug with the stone and i will see you in the next one much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.